hello 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 welcome to my season life with mary golf i am mary and i wanted to welcome you today to my channel so today i'm going to talk about unplugging what unplugging means to me why i think it's important sometimes to just unplug i am filming today from our country home here in the state of Georgia. I've been here for about two weeks now and I have been unplugging the entire time. So let's talk a little bit about why I think that's important. Sometimes we as women, or matter of fact, mostly all of the time, we put others before ourselves, we're juggling multiple projects at one time but sometimes you just need to unplug um, you don't have to go off to a country home to unplug um, you can actually unplug right there in your own house or your own apartment your own condo whatever it is it doesn't need to cost you any money to unplug some of the things that you can do is how about just having a quiet day where you decided that if you don't, if you can't stand total silence, how about you have soft music on, put on a candle, uh, make a cup of tea, whatever it is that makes you relax and decide that you're going to unplug from social media. That means no texting, no talking on the phone, no watching TV, just basically being still. Uh, sitting with yourself, thinking about what you want to do, or not even thinking at all, you know, eating a bowl of ice cream, fixing your favorite meal while listening to music, or total silence. Something that we, I think, don't do enough of. Now, when I first got to our country home here, I, I must tell you, I was a little agitated at first because internet is very spotty uh, depending on where you're at in the house you might be able to catch a phone call most of the time you cannot if you're talking on the phone uh, if you stand up or move you'll probably lose the call so that was a little annoying at first but then I decided I said you know what you were very overstimulated I was feeling a little overwhelmed uh, as you know, I, I do a lot of multiple things right now, though I am retired and things that I'm doing are things that I want to do. Uh, sometimes I also need to pull back. I'm running two Facebook groups. Um, one, as you know, Black Women Expects in Panama, and we have monthly meetups and I'm one of the admins. I'm the founder of the group. And so there's a lot that comes with maintaining Facebook groups. You have to answer a post you have to you know respond to people so you gotta you gotta have the balance and I was a little unbalanced I was to the other side because although I like to socialize I like to meet new people those are things that I enjoy doing um, I felt it was just like a getting to be too much because I had been uh, entertaining family members I had um, my son in town I was heavily involved in the group and I realized that I hadn't really taken some time out, you know, for myself to take a to take a breather, you know, to basically just do nothing. So the fact that I was able to come here and was kind of forced off the internet, although sometimes you say you're gonna take a break and you still, you know, want to text or something like that, but because I was literally forced to take a break. I had no choice that I was like hmm hmm wow this really feels good so moving forward with this unplugging and why I think it's so important you know I, I just think that we got to have balance we can't be you know too much of anything so I recognized that I was unbalanced so moving forward I'm not going to let myself get to that place again. If I'm feeling off balance, 
No matter of fact, I'm not going to feel off balance because I decided that I am going to routinely put different balance balances in my life. For instance, you know, I might do a weekly where I unplug for several hours. It might be for a day where I'm not on Facebook. I'm not on Instagram. I'm not looking at YouTube videos. I'm not looking at TV, which I don't do a lot of anyway. But basically not talking to anyone because that's because I give so much to others. I have to step back and replenish myself. So what you have to do is recognize what you need in order to keep yourself balanced. And the sun is coming in <laughs> and shining on my face. So if I'm doing like this it's because the sun right now is coming from uh, up there. But anyway, so what you have to do is find your place. Find whatever you need to do to stay balanced and hey, you don't have to tell anybody why. You don't have to get permission. Just just do it. Because I think us as black women, we are naturally nurturers and we give, give, give. So sometimes you gotta pull back a little and give to yourself too. Don't forget yourself. So that's what I mean when I say unplug. Whatever that means to you, take a break. Put on some soft music and say, you know what, hey Mary, I don't have a whole day to unplug. I'm really busy right now. You know what? Find some time in your day. Get up earlier in the morning. Take an hour or two just for yourself. And I think if you're incorporating unplugging on a regular basis, whatever that means to you, whether it's once a day, twice a week, once a month, whatever that means to you, if you make it a part of your regular routine, which I will be doing, <laughs> then I think overall, when you come back to the world, or when you come back to your socialization, or come back in your group, whatever it is that you're doing, you're gonna be that much better, that much healthier, happier, that much easier <laughs> to get along with. Um, just overall feel so much better because you've actually taken a break for yourself. So tell me in the comments, when is the last time you actually unplugged where you didn't have the internet, you weren't talking on the phone, you didn't watch much TV, and maybe you decided to, to have a book, maybe you decided to read, maybe you decided to journal, maybe you decided to paint or color, whatever it is, that you like to do when is the last time you actually unplugged or what types of things do you do to unplug some people take a bubble bath some people go for a walk i find that when i also go for a walk that's also a way for me to unplug so you have to decide what works for you it doesn't have to cost anything not one cent i'm just telling you that we need to do more unplugging. I, I, I know you do. I mean, because I just know that we, as black women, we are wearing multiple hats. We're juggling multiple things. But don't forget about yourself, dear. Make sure you take some time out for you. I know myself, I was very unbalanced. I recognized it, I was getting irritated. So I knew that I needed to unplug. And although I didn't think this country setting, I was gonna say, oh my gosh, it's not gonna be anything to do. You know what? It was just what I needed. It was exactly just what I needed. So there were days where I didn't do much of anything. I didn't do much of anything. There's lots of stuff that have to be done around the house, which I'll talk about that more in my other YouTube videos um, about why I'm at the particular country home. How did I get here? Uh, we'll talk about that. But um, I just decided that, you know what, Mary? It's okay not to do a thing. So... <laughs> 
So I didn't do much here. I did some stuff that had to be done, some business that had to be taken care of. Um, but as far as like organizing or going through boxes that were in storage or whatever, I only did a few things. Yeah, just a flip few. But in the meantime, I felt like I got some relaxation. I um, recharged a bit and I'm still not totally recharged. I got to be honest with that because I'm not. Because even though I'm in the country, a very nice setting, it's very quiet and peaceful here. I've still had to interact um, with others while I was here. So when I get back, to Panama, I'm probably going to be locked down. I just need a few more days of just solitude. So whatever it takes for you, you have to recognize yourself. You have to know your own body, know your limits. And if you have been out here just like juggling all of this stuff, take a deep breath and decide, answer this question, when is the last time I unplugged? And if you can't remember, or if it's been that long, then you know what? It's time for you to do it. It's good for yourself, for your mental health, for your well-being. Because stress is the number one cause of heart disease for, for black women. So stress is a killer. So we all want to be around here. <laughs> for as long as possible. And we wanna do things that keep us mentally, physically, and emotionally health healthy. So share in the comments how you're going to unplug. And if you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe. I have tons of things that I'm gonna be sharing with you uh, for 2023. Um, I'm going to be sharing more of my lifestyle uh, here. I'm here in the country right now, but I will be in Panama soon. So I'm going to be sharing a bit of everything. So you're going to only not only get, you know, travel stuff, you're going to get some lifestyle stuff, some things I do for self care, uh, some cooking tips, all of this good stuff is going to be wrapped into one because I want to produce content that I enjoy doing and content that I know is going to be helpful for other uh, seasoned women. Um, I'm also gearing up my traveling again. Travelingwithmary.com is going to be my web, well, it is my website. I'm gonna be hosting some group trips. So make sure you've signed up for that. I'm gonna be putting that out very soon. And I was supposed to work on that here, but you know what, I decided that no, I'm just not going to work on anything because everything that I'm doing, it can, it can wait. You know, I needed to take some time out for me first, okay? Um, because none of this, I'm not like doing heart surgery or something. So everything that I'm doing right now can wait because me, I'm making myself a priority. I needed a break, okay? So... I'm taking one so you do the same if you need a break even if it's a small break you know go into a room you can set the timer see if you only have like an hour set the timer for an hour put on some soft music lay on the bed drink some tea whatever it is that's gonna make you feel good make sure you're carving out small times of your day to do that because those little small things that you're doing are gonna add up to really big things during the week. So don't think, oh, one little hour or 15 minutes isn't gonna do anything. Oh, yes, it is. If you're taking that out every day, by the end of the week, you're gonna feel so much better. So just try it and let me know in the comments. All right, so listen, don't forget to unplug. I've been unplugging for two weeks. I was kind of forced to do it because of the internet situation here, the Wi-Fi. But you know what? It was the best thing for me. So wish you so well. Make sure you're taking care of yourself. It's very important to unplug. Find out what works for you. 
okay for me it's to for me to have quiet listen to soft music to maybe just sit and just be a couch potato one day and watch a bunch of netflix movies um mindless entertainment eat some of my favorite foods uh, go for a walk um whatever sleeping late whatever it is make sure you're doing those for yourself okay so thanks for watching make sure you oh, what is that okay i'm in the country i thought i felt something on my foot but there's nothing here i checked all the um the spots before i sat down but anyway <laughs> make sure you like and subscribe and if you want to see a particular lifestyle um wait a minute okay i just want to make sure that i was not getting bit because my first or second day here i got bit by a red i think it was a red ant but anyway okay make sure you hit the like and subscribe and if you want to see more lifestyle videos like this let me know what you want to see because i'm going to be sharing more of my journey this is a particular stage of our lives, women over 50, where we have taken care of so many other people. So it's time for us to do some things just for us. So I'm here. I'm hoping that my channel helps, encourages, and motivates you to live your best life. That's what I'm hoping that we're doing here. So hit the like and subscribe. Take care. And I will see you soon on my next video. Have a great day.